how much will this center be a catalyst and how much will it you know uh, increase the automotive side of your business in design and innovation well we certainly aim um, for the creation center to uh, attract attention of the automotive sector um, specifically the design departments um, of our key key customers and we hope this very much will be the catalyst and the starting point for uh, new and uh, creative um, design projects that will then um, hopefully then turn into real commercial projects that involve uh, all other departments and performance materials in India. And the Automotive Center for Performance Materials globally but uh, also here in India is a very important segment and you know one of the key ways to grow in the automotive industry is to innovate and that's what uh, the Creation Center here will support us to do. So what are the key growth trends in Asia Pacific and India for the performance material uh, perspective? What are the key growths? Okay. I mean if we're talking automotive, uh, yeah. then I think the, the whole topic around electrification, uh, hybrids, electric vehicles, fuel cell vehicles, I think this is the biggest change to the industry in, in many, many years, maybe in a hundred years. So um, you know, in order for us to be part of that, we have to develop a lot of the new materials and new applications to, to support the infrastructure of the battery in the vehicle uh, and certain electrical components. So that I think is the, clearly the biggest topic uh, for us to be part of, to be successful in the future of the automotive industry. The Creation Centre can help that, uh, you know, with collaborative approaches to, to new, new items. Uh, so how much do you see as a hurdle or what are the challenges do you see when you are probably looking at a short term to a medium term a goal or a medium term to a long term goal. What are, what are the challenges do you face when you are looking into the perspectives? Mm. I think that depends on the topic. Um, so obviously, if, if for example, if we're just taking an existing application from country A and bringing it to country B with a more short term focus on an existing technology, that's rather straightforward. But if you look at uh, electric vehicles and you look at some of the requirements for plastics around the battery or around sensors that this technology doesn't exist sure. so that's the challenges are really there to create a material that works for the right cost and for the right structural properties so, so all these things have to come together um, so the, clearly the challenge is you know is producing materials to face the requirements for new technologies uh, one final question uh, looking at 75 years of BSF what are you guys looking at the next 75 years or the next 100 years or what, what is like what is the next step from what you've come from all this time on? Okay. So I think the, uh, the, we're a much, much, much older company than how old are we this year? Uh, so globally 153. 153 and the 75 years in the mm. um, You know BSF to be successful has to can adapt to meet market requirements. I think it doesn't matter which industry we are in. Um, so it's you know understanding industries, understanding technology, understanding regulations, and understanding consumer demands, and putting these things together in some sort of roadmap to make sure we produce the right materials in the future um, to meet demand. And I think design also plays a role there, Alex. Huh? Yeah, I mean essentially the the market is rapidly changing, maybe ever so rapidly today than in the past, and BSF has a a good track record in uh, always uh, basically innovating and keeping up with consumer demand and industry demand um, and I think this can continue for uh, a very long time. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.